And so I have one question. Since uh, recently in early January, uh, uh, late January, early February, the USMLE uh, stated that we're going into a pass-fail score. How do you think uh, this is going to affect uh, international medical graduates or any grad? And w do you foresee that people are going to need to shine more in uh, the interviewing process, more than a three-digit number, as it used to be? Yeah, so, um, you know, that whole pass-fail, um, uh, ch the change in the, in the scoring for step one, I mean, people have looked at it both ways. You know, some feel that it, it's, it's a good move. Uh, it kind of relieves some of the stress of preparing for step one and that, you know, uh, programs should not focus too much on the step one score. I mean, if you look at um, how, uh, you know, NRMP has this uh, data where they surveyed program directors asking, how do you guys, uh, how do you um, decide whom to uh, call for an interview and USMLE step one score is like on the top of the list. So um, having said that, for an international medical graduate, I think, uh, you know, there are a couple of ways I've kind of looked at this. Um, the way it works for international medical graduates is uh, a lot of us take the step one, you know, much later in medical school. I mean, uh, for example, I took it like after I graduated, you know, and in the US, uh, it's like this, they take it in the second year, the US medical graduates take it in the second year of med school. So, um, and so by the time, you know, one finishes med school, it's very difficult to kind of go back and learn like biochemistry and uh, anatomy and embryology, you know, those kind of um, basic science, basic, exactly basic science that it's very difficult to like be excellent in that. And um, so I think from that point of view, it's like, okay, you know, uh, we just need to uh, pass uh, in this exam. So that's one, um, one uh, good thing for international medical graduate and focusing more on the clinical sciences, which is really the information you need to take care of the patients. Um, there, some folks have said that, um, have kind of expressed their views that, you know, for an international medical graduate, um, step, having a high score on step one was kind of one of the ways uh, they would show to the program director that, you know, hey, uh, I'm really good at, uh, in, um, I really, I'm very good in my clinical knowledge. And so some feel that now they don't, they would not have the ability to show, um, the program director that, um, uh, you know, about uh, their uh, clinical knowledge, uh, sorry, the basic uh, uh, knowledge. So, um, yes, it's, so then, you know, the focus will be more on uh, doing better on the USMLE Step 2 CK, uh, making sure they pass the Step 2 CS, uh, the first attempt, um, maybe focusing more on clinical experience and research. I think uh, it's, it's going to, like, move uh, the whole uh, the whole uh, method of how program directors decide whom to interview will, will kind of change. How likely is that uh, with this new uh, scoring system, us foreign medical graduates are going to be able to make it into highly competitive specialties and not settle, quote unquote, for internal medicine or family practice uh, like I had to at the very beginning before I went actually into the specialty of my choice, emergency medicine? Yeah, um, I don't think it will change that because, you know, the reason why specialties like ophthalmology, dermatology, orthopedic surgery are competitive, it's not that because, you know, they're looking for high step one scores. Um, I mean, traditionally, um, you know, those specialties, uh, you know, are more accessible to U.S. medical graduates as compared to international medical graduates. So, um, and, I, I, and, you know, I don't believe it's, entirely because of the score, uh, the step one or step two scores. I think it has to do with how you did during your med school and the kind of letters that you have, maybe the kind of research you have done. So um, I don't believe the pass, step one pass fail system is going to uh, make it more difficult for um, uh, international graduates to get into competitive specialties. Um, so, you know, they would still need to work on their step two CK and, 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 and all the other things. Um, to kind of get into a competitive specialty, I would think. 